Welcome everyone, welcome to this Valentine's Day special that I have for you guys, running tarot readings for only the signs requested, okay? So if you don't see your sign here, it's because it wasn't requested. How do you request? Well, you know, you gotta be my subscriber. You gotta hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified and I let people know when I'm doing these things so that they can comment on my community page and let me know, all right? so. Um, yeah, hit the bell and subscribe if you want to get readings for your sign in the future. And for those of you interested in a private reading, because reminder, it's not a private reading. So take what applies, discard what doesn't. And if you want a private reading, well, wait to the very end and I will give you the details for that. Enjoy. Leo, welcome on in. I hope you are having a good Valentine's Day. We're going to start off with a five card spread and see what comes up for you. And um, yeah, this is for everybody. Everybody, including the singles. Yeah, most definitely for the singles. Like, let's kind of check in and see what's going on with Leo's love life. And uh, that one wanted to come out. I'm just going to see what it is. <laughs> Queen of Wands in reverse. Aries, Leo... Sagittarius females. Um, someone's demanding here. Someone wants what they want and they want it now. I'm getting like a Veruca salt off of uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Where's my candy? I hope you're getting some candy at least, some nice box of chocolates. And now I'm being brought back to Forrest Gump. You never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to find. Let's see what comes up in this uh, reading for you, Leo. And by the way, I'm your opposite. Aquarius. Yeah. <laughs> so, might be some mirroring going on here also, you know, uh, between the Aquarians and the Leos. So, it's always good for me as an Aquarian to see what's going on with Leo and maybe for Leo to see what's going on with Aquarius. Might want to check out the Aquarius readings. Just a thought. Just a thought. Okay. But yeah, I'm feeling like we're good to cut and draw. And let's see at the foundation. Holy crap, not a fan. Ace of chalices in reverse. Wah, wah, wah. You know, that's... Uh, I don't like it. You know, I mean, Leo is all about the love, the adoration, the admiration, right? But Ace of chalices in reverse, particularly in this deck, is like... You know, somebody is emotionally cut off or they're blocking their emotions or there's there's some kind of lack of healing here. And somebody doesn't feel, I don't think, satisfied, happy with their love life. The foundation, or I should say the main issue here, well, here we go again, temperance in reverse, yet another card indicating a lack of healing. What's going on here? Something is out of balance, it seems, Leo. Might have to do with a Sagittarius or a Cancer, but I see somebody really discontent and a need to overcome it. Well, there you are. The Strength card showing up in the past position of, you know, you are showing up confident, but in the future, it looks like not working, not coming together with somebody. And at the root of all of this is there's some kind of inertia. The outcome is with the Justice card, um, some kind of, again, unfairness and unbalance, what I'm seeing from beginning to end. And it might be that there are some things karmically that need to get resolved. I don't do that. I haven't done this for the last two readings, you know, but for you, I'm definitely feeling led to uh, pull some cards to kind of uh, dive in a little bit deeper into, you know, what, what is unhealed for you. And actually, these are cards I'm not using, decks I'm not, I've not been using for the other signs, but let's go with it, let's flow with it, because that's what Spirit's leading me to do. What's unhealed here? What's unhealed here? Phoenix rising, so a lot of signs I've been getting that. Some of you are going through some deep, I'm hearing dark change, okay? I'm getting something about the underworld, I'm getting very 8th house, scorpionic, plutonic, intense type. Um, I'm hearing catharsis, catharsis, it might look ugly now, but it's going to become pretty, right? Like a, a caterpillar going through metamorphosis to become that beautiful butterfly. Anything else? Anything else? Something is definitely shifting, okay? I'm also hearing something about um, refining fires, okay? 
that you are being refined right now and it kind of burns. Discover your life purpose, letting go. Some of you got to let go of whatever you thought was on point for you with your life. It's almost like I'm hearing it's a new program. I'm also hearing new day, new way. Um, new program, okay? I don't know, I'm also hearing Chuck the program. Chuck, I don't ever say that, Chuck the program. Like, all right. Chuck the old program. Chuck the old mindset. It's no longer relevant. I'm in a flow for somebody. Sweet Jesus, I don't even know where this is coming from. These two want to lean forward. Crown chakra, insight, emotional. Hello. This is confirmation here. Something's emotionally out of balance for you. And this is heart chakra with that green. Okay. This is about you getting stability, peace, fluidity, flexing, and flowing with things. Have you gotten rigid emotionally? Like, not, I'm not letting something in. Well, there's some kind of healing overall that needs to go on with your crown chakra. And that crown chakra is the ability to hear from spirit. An insight is about you, you know, having some awakening. Look at that. That is one heck of an awakening right there. Whatever is like, I'm hearing purged. Whatever's being purged right now from your life. This is drama, okay? Whatever's being purged from your life right now, it's calling you to enlightenment, to a wake-up call. You're having to become more aware of something within yourself. You're having to reevaluate something. Like, what is the point of this all? I'm being brought back to this. What is the point of this? This is like a death rebirth cycle, okay? The old way, the old life you lived, maybe it was on point. It was on purpose with something shifting here. Well, this is now turning into a whole healing reading. I'm going to put that off to the side. We'll see if that comes up again, if it, you know, becomes relevant. But... Um, yeah, I'm trying to do a love reading, but you know what? We got to flex and flow with spirit because sometimes, <laughs> you know, we, we think that we, um, need to be on relationships, relationships, relationships. And I got to say, I know a lot of my subscribers have commented and agree with me on this point that the trouble is, you know, a lot of these love readings on YouTube want to make everything about love and romance. You, you know, they want to like put everything through that narrow lens and sometimes honestly astrologically sometimes just spirit is like nah we don't want you focused on that right now we want you focused on you know uh <laughs> eighth house and uh 12 house matters okay i am going to try to keep this reading on point but again if this kind of stuff comes up i'm going to honor spirit if if spirit's like no nah, we need to talk about eighth 12 house stuff then then we're just going to go there we're going to do it okay i'm going to honor spirit but um, let me see what this has to do, if anything, uh, with your relationships. Can I get a general overall energy? Because I just kind of want to feel out, uh, what is going on? What are the themes generally for Leo in their love life? Um, and I'm going to say on a spiritual note, you or someone around you is not, listening to spirit being spirit guided or maybe that was your past and that's what's shifting right now you're realizing a need to deepen that spiritual connection in a way that you never have before again maybe you were spiritually deep before but it's a whole nother something there we go butterfly i told you these are very scorpionic themes coming up relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth but you got to open up here you know there's a need to get emotional balance and to get rid of any blocked emotions because i'm seeing emotional imbalance blocked emotions with those cards twin flames abundance boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues are some of you having trouble moving on to the next phase it's almost like <clears throat> I think that you are being pushed to make a big shift in your life that leads you to this beautiful catharsis with a butterfly in abundance. But some of you are having trouble leaving that old life or that old way. Some of you, it's getting purged out. I'm hearing ready or not, uh, ready or not, <laughs> you know. Um, Twin Flames card came up, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Uh, those of you who are familiar with me, I'm not really a big believer in the whole Twin Flame notion, um, but, you know, I am a freedom-loving Aquarian, so believe whatever works for you. 
I think the gist of this is basically, you know, that, that other half, okay? Um, whoever you consider to be your other half or who you hope to be your other half. Um, and again, maybe that's part of the shift is that who you thought was your other half turns out um, you're being shown something else. You're awakening to a deeper truth or a higher knowledge or a fuller perception of reality. I'm going to go a little bit, you know, I'm feeling like I want to clarify some of this real quick, okay? Which is, again, different from the others, but it's how I'm feeling like for you, Leo. Uh, what's not working here with the Three of Pentacles in reverse? Three of, because I'm also getting a three-year time frame with that. So what is not working here? Some of you are trying to manifest an understanding with other people about cooperating and coming together and sharing resources. And this might have to do with your dating life. Finding people, uh, possibly an Aquarian, Libra, Gemini. But this is a very like being able to discern the truth about what you can manifest. You needing to get clear over the next three years in terms of who is cooperating with you and who's not? Who's Team Leo? Who is putting in on this? Who's got skin in the game? Leo, who is it? Why is there inertia? So this is both, both of these are cards of, I mean, really like seeing three cards here indicating something's not healed and there's some kind of inertia. And it might have to do with um, communications. It might have to do with getting progress in your life or the way that you communicate. I can also see, you know, possibly a lot of sexual partners or sexual prospects, but there's some kind of inertia, like if these are sexual prospects or partners, it's not really going anywhere. It's not really going where you want it to go. It's not progressing in the way that you want, because it's almost like you're, you're going, and I don't know why I'm getting some kind of spinning, 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 and it's taking me back to this somebody's cooking it ain't ready yet right it ain't done until it's done right it's like that butterfly is not ready to come out of the cocoon until it's ready to come out you got to keep cooking on something leo okay and it has to do with who's cooperating with you who's supporting you and i'm talking um on a very tangible level very practical who's bringing the goods the values to your life who's sharing with you who is bringing the physical warmth and provision to you justice in reverse what is this about i really feel like this is unresolved karma okay um i i don't know why i'm being taken back to the last seven years with the seven of pentacles um you got to look at what cycle started up over the last seven years. Okay, that one wants to pop up too. That's where you're going to find the truth and the healing. You have to reevaluate. Somebody is maybe either, well, I, they may be trying to reevaluate, but you're stuck on something. Okay, because that's at the foundation. You're in some kind of inertia where maybe you're meditating and, and praying and, and contemplating all of these. Yeah, you know, and, and you are trying to figure out what do I need to heal or do to get progress and move beyond this, whatever this has been for the last seven years. <clears throat> but um, you're, you're stuck on something, okay? You're stuck on something. Um, I am going to pull, I'm being brought to this deck, oddly. What is Leo stuck on? Anything more? Anything more? Anything more? Okay, that just fell out. I am again getting some theme about closure and endings. Okay. And, right, I saw it over here with that boat card. And this might have to do with a woman an older woman or at least a wise woman, okay? 
Um, this is a woman who's been there, done that, knows, okay? Um, but I'm seeing some kind of, again, closure issues, uh, death, rebirth cycles I'm seeing all over this spread, okay, this reading. Some of you, it has to do with what you do for a living and you're very concerned about that and that might have put your focus on things other than love right now where you're just, your mind is, your mind is on your money and your money is on your mind, you know. I'm going to move this over here. I'm going to try to go back to my original intent for this reading, which is to find out, you know, how this person is thinking, your person of interest, okay, versus you. Let's start off with them, okay? Not a fan either. My gosh, this is drama. Um, Leo, you've got three of chalices in reverse, which is telling me that, you know, there's been some infidelity here. And if it's not outright cheating, we're looking at, you know, somebody that has gone too far. They've overindulged in some respect. Um, might have to do with, you know, going out and partying with friends or something like that. But um, it looks like somebody's coming out of a uh, time of, of lack. That's good. But again, here we go with trying to manifest something, which I saw over there. In that love reading and you're at some kind of crossroads this is again more stuck energy in terms of you manifesting what you're trying to manifest might have to do with again this is an interesting synchronicity um an aquarius right that's aquarius with a star card this is also possibly an aquarius libra gemini um and if we're not talking about an aquarian or an air sign we're looking at you know a soulmate we're looking at your ambitions but there's something stuck about you manifesting. Oh, crap. Oh, dear. Mm. This person, I think, is... Um, I don't know why I wanted to read this, deck, this side like it's yours. It might be yours, okay? I caught myself doing that, and I was in a flow, and now I want to correct myself. But let me remind you, it's a general reading, so even though I think this is for the other person, if this is you, then take it as yours, okay? Um, whoever it is here, I am seeing some excessive indulgence. Yes, maybe infidelity, cheating. Somebody's been emotionally disloyal at bare minimum. And it looks like they're trying to come out of the poor house, whether, you know, this is relationally or materially. There's things are, I think, improving for them on that front as far as having more abundance. Yet... I think that they're at a stalemate in terms of getting on the same page with another person. Like there's some kind of stuckness in their dating life or in terms of, you know, having a meeting of the minds, having some kind of understanding about a soulmate. I feel that there's been some kind of fallout. They might, it's probably an integrity issue. I ain't going to lie to you. There's some kind of, uh, Something's not solid here on an emotional level. And this is bringing me back to that, you know, that Ace of Cups in reverse. It's bringing me back to, sorry, I'm making a mess there. Um, the Temperance in reverse. You might be, somebody's resisting maybe, not cooperating. Where else did I see this? A need for you to get emotional or somebody to get emotional balance here, okay? I think that there's a lot of emotions being kept under wraps, holding back, keeping things very personal, maybe, yes, secrets, hiding things. This person might feel like, well, this is the wise thing to do. Um, but from beginning to end, I'm seeing an indication here that, um, you know, there's maybe some kind of... Uh, 
clandestine relationships or going on or some kind of secrecy. If there's been a breakup in the relationship, I think that it's because of these emotional issues that are unhealed or held back or blocked. And the emotional issues have to do with, you know, fears, anxiety, disappointment, insecurity, worry. All right, I gotta get into this person's business. What is this about? I think there's been some kind of grief about whatever this fallout is with a soulmate. Um, yeah, this is like a life partner, but something's, again, more stuck energy here. What is this fallout about? What is this fallout about here? And I'm noticing that that hangman's in reverse. So uh, rigid thinking, very rigid. Like this person maybe can't be reasoned with. And, and then this is a partner. What is this fallout about? What is this tower card about? What is this tower card about? Again, I'm being brought back to bam, bam with that tower card. It's a wake up call. What is, what is this tower card about? What is this tower card about? Very interesting. Wisdom. I'm getting wisdom with, you know, the high priestess and those owls. Tell me more. Somebody lacking wisdom or they're holding back. They know they know what they need to do, but they're not doing it. Like, yeah, I know what I need to do here, but I'm just going to be, you know, in my own little, I don't know, fantasy world. I'm going to hang on to my fantasy of the way that I think things should be or the way I think, you know, the way I want it to be, even though that's not working. There's been a broken commitment here. Sweet Jesus. Okay. I'm getting a lot of stuff. Um, things not moving forward yet again. Uh, maybe there was some jealousy in the past. Something didn't work out. Okay. Um, wow. Oh, I didn't see these. Money. Something about the exchange of money has ended, and there's that eight again, and there's that coffin. Where did I see that coffin? Endings. Wow, I'm getting so many synchronicities here, right? Closure issues. And so it might have to do with money, um, right? Occupation came up on that, that other coffin. I'm trying to do a love reading here, but I mean, you know, the, it's like spirit is is wanting to talk to you about um, I don't know maybe again you're, you you know this is you're in a relationship with this person and you or they have some kind of financial or money issues that are just drowning out the relationship and I'm just I'm almost hearing I'm hearing suffocating it's suffocating whatever this fallout has been it's grievous okay it's a wake up call about somebody needing to step into their own power and, and, and realize their own capabilities. Um, and I don't know if what's being held back emotionally is somebody's trying to just keep the peace, keep things under wraps, keep things from getting out of control. Like I'm hearing it's a front. It's a front. Oh, I'm getting into some deep stuff. All right. Um, yeah, I... I don't know that, um, I don't know necessarily that, I say there might have been, you know, there might have been a breakup or, you know, a fallout in a relationship because of adultery, because of secrets in a relationship. Um, for others of you, I feel that there's something else that's been going on, um, more having to do with career and money, and this person might have been drinking to deal with it, okay? And I, they might even be doing that, or it might be oh, like overeating, some kind of overindulgence. If some of you, it's porn. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, shoot, see, I'm still, I'm trying to get off of this person's, and I keep, <laughs> all right, what's the shadow energy here? What's the shadow, I'm gonna get all in their business. What's the shadow energy with this person? All righty, we got a lot, a lot scorned lust i told you about the porn okay 
unstable, envious, elusive. Well, you know, here it is. This is the elusive. I know something, but I'm not going to tell you what I know. Right? This e evasive, elusive stuff is like smoke and mirrors. I'm not going to tell you how I'm really feeling about this because I just want to keep the peace. I'm going to poker face it. I think that deep down there, yeah, there's probably somebody in the mix here, probably them has been dealing with some kind of envy, right? That snake came up before. It was in reverse, all right? But uh, so it kind of indicated to me this is maybe something either it's in the past or it's been hidden. They're not showing you that they're jealous or they're possessive about something, and again, I feel the emotions, are something is like emotionally unstable here. It's taking me back to time to balance things out, get some harmony, get some peace. But I feel like somebody's trying to keep it under wraps. I'm almost getting this kind of um, perception management is going on with this person. Um, underneath it all, I feel like this is their coping mechanism, lust. That, you know, uh, maybe they resort to porn. They resort to, I don't know why I just heard some kinky sex, kinky sex. I don't know where that came from, okay? I know I screwed things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it is what they're thinking. Um, I wish I could take back the things I said. Yeah, this one just fell out in my lap. I feel safer in the silence. Well, yeah, that's some silence right there. I want to be authentic. I am no longer afraid. Well, I don't know. That's, you know, I don't, I don't really see the authenticity coming out here. It's like, okay, so you want to, but you're just going to stay back for now. Why? Because you, like, you want to step out and say something, but you, you don't want to rock the boat because the boat already got rocked well enough with that tower card. Okay. There was already some fallout or, you know, that something's already on a weak foundation. You don't want to shake it up any further than it already has been. So you want to speak your truth, but you're going to hold back for now. That's kind of what I'm getting out of that. All right. I'm going to take the ones, the cards that land up right. And so for you, Leo, it looks like you're cooperating with this person. You might work with them. You might network with this person. You know them in some way. Maybe you're sharing your talents with them or your resources or values. Um, you know, you're, you're connected in a very tangible way to this person. Tell me more about Leo and this other person. Mm. I'm going to say you've got Aquarius over here, Pisces and Cancer over there. What is Leo thinking about this person? All right. I think you want to cooperate with them and you want to make plans for your future. There we go again with the air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, very clear in your head that you want stability and you want harmony. You want emotional connection, but there's a lack of commitment here. There might be a broken marriage or again, somebody's like, I'm not conforming to this. And this is a very interesting um, thing going on. This, It's like you want to break the mold. You want to get out of this whatever rigidness I saw going on for this person with the hangman reverse this this kind of fantasy land stuff that's going on in um, partnership I think that you're ready to deal with reality the reality may be that you know the commitment is weak or a marriage is broken um, but I think huh again I'm taking the cards that landed up right I think you want to get progress towards, you know, happiness. Some of you might actually be moving, moving, literally making a move to get more happiness in your life, okay? Or whatever traveling you're doing or, you know, physical move of re residence, you are, this move is going to really make you happy, okay? Um, but again, I'm seeing possibly a Cancer or a Sagittarius is relevant. Uh, but what it, why are you holding back? Somebody's holding back here. Okay, wow. They at the foundation have four of rods in reverse. So, 
again, <laughs> take this how this applies. But I'm the more I'm flushing this reading out, right? I, it started out with all this healing stuff, like somebody's got blocked emotions, somebody, um, you know, needs to get some emotional balance, um, somebody struggling with getting closure. Um, well, I'm, I'm almost getting it's this person over here, whoever that is, okay? Um, I think it's the other person and it's bleeding into your, your stuff, right? Um, I honestly, whoever this person is over here, it looks like they're ready to deal with, you know, reality. They, they want to work with somebody. They want to partner with somebody. Um, they're very clear in their head that they want a family. They want harmony. They want stability. But I'm getting the opposite over here with this in reverse. Same card, different deck. Um, you know, at, at the foundation, this person, you know, there's some kind of disharmony. Because somebody's going through um, a, maybe a difficult transitory period in their life. I bring you back to that, right? Very intense, plutonic, um, life-transforming, cathartic phase that they're going through in life. And that's brought some difficulties with the communications. A breakdown of communications, maybe. And it could indicate also somebody leaving a home. I'm seeing over here somebody leaving a home. And I'm seeing over here somebody maybe traveling. This person over here is trying to hold the fort down. This person over here kind of having trouble um, because maybe there's arguments. There's maybe arguments going on where this person is trying to, I think, hold their peace more. Um, some of you being very, very frugal, maybe saving up so that you can make this move, leave this behind. Let's see how you feel about this, Leo. How do you feel about this, Leo? I'm also getting holding back on your end as well, um, but it's kind of a different kind of holding back. It's like this person is holding back more on an emotional level, whereas you seem to be holding back more on a material, tangible level. Uh, although I gotta say, I think that you're, you are cooperating. Like if they put in on it, you're putting in on it too. But I don't think that you're just, I think you love this person. You really care about this person, okay? All right, and there's something very fulfilling about this person, um, and maybe they're, they're somebody who brings a lot of peace in your life, but at the same time, um, maybe a feeling of shame, you know, like you're not being valued. Again, maybe whatever the fallout has been, um, or the, the broken commitment, or whatever mold you're trying to move out of, um, it's kind of left you feeling a bit humiliated and discouraged and unfulfilled. That's an irony. Fulfilled, unfulfilled, powerless. There's, this is weird. It's like, again, here's, here's the difference here. This person feels empowered. You feel empowerless. And uh, why? I, I guess like you're looking for fulfillment in terms of your love life. But there's something here that, what if there's purposeless, okay? Is this you, Leo? What are you doing with your life? You know, you need to live on purpose. You need to understand your life has a purpose. What is your purpose? Is this about, again, your work, your profession, what you're doing with your life? Um, there's something you've got to let go of. And I saw that with this card you know the boat about getting you know having closure issues i saw it with the coffins that have popped up and it's like and you but you're having trouble moving on there's that boat again in reverse you you can't seem to there's a coffin as well you you're you need to tie something up okay it's it's odd it's almost i'm getting this like we um world card in reverse vibe but i don't see that here all right um, and, and, I, and I'm being told that the reason why I'm not seeing that here is because world in reverse is more of about spirit, okay? It's major arcana. What I'm seeing more in this is like, this is your own four of swords in reverse. You're in inertia. Or whoever you have bound yourself to or committed yourself to um, in some respect. 
um, has you stuck in some kind of inertia. What are you thinking about this? What are you thinking about this person? I'm finally feeling the consequences of my actions. I don't know how I feel anymore. I think you have feelings for this person, but there's something off. Like, where, where are we going with this? I don't know. This person you feel is not empowering you. I don't know if I can meet your expectations. Mm. Yeah. Anything more? All right. You feel like home to me. Interesting. You know, and I'm seeing home right there. Okay. And I'm seeing an emotional connection right there. But there's something uh, bro broken about the commitment. or there's, it, It's almost like, <clears throat> you know, you, you're cooperating with this person. And on some tangible physical level, it appears as though you are being supportive of one another. But at the same time, like philosophically, um, there's something off in the force where it's like, I don't know, this is more of a, I'm going through the motions working with you on this, but philosophically, I don't really, uh, I kind of want to break out of this rut. Because there's something, even though you have feelings for this person, there's something empty about it. That's really interesting. Uh, let's, let's see if we can get some love advice here. Love advice. For Leo, romantic advice for Leo. Okay. Retreat. It's time to disconnect. Well, I do see that. I saw somebody leaving there. I saw some leaving there. This all letting go over there. Possibly somebody leaving a home over there. Healing family issues. Your life benefits as you forgive your parents. Let go of control issues. Sweet Jesus, there's a synchronicity. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. This could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. Okay, so to me, that's confirmation that you, you know, if this is your reading, I'm not talking to you about somebody in your future that you're going to meet. I'm talking to you about <clears throat> somebody you already know, you've already had a relationship with. Let me, let me try to go just a little bit deeper. What do they want? <clears throat> what do they want? What do they want? on that oh they want to move on okay i'm getting a, a lot of movement with these cards um six of swords um they want expansion in their life but for some of you expansion is coming in the way of maybe um, somebody outside of the relationship i'm getting three again looking outside of the partnership or back burner relationship um and I think there's a heaviness attached to this moving on. But again, there's that Scorpio death card where it's, I mean, this is really heavy moving on. All right. Like I want expansion. And if I have to get expansion by taking on a heavier burden responsibility, I have to end things in order to transform things. Then that's what I'm going to do. And this is what they need. Um, well, they feel like they need to avoid a fallout with you. Um, they probably feel also that they need uh, to, um, in order to, again to get progress in their life, they're going to have to make some swift, sudden moves. I think that they know that, again, there's some heaviness and grief around that. I think like what they want and need, actually, they're pretty clear. It's almost like this is the same thing. Let me pull that again. Let me pull that again. Let me see. 
what do they need? What do they need? We know what they want. They want expansion to get transformation. They're willing to take on the heaviness of it. Single. I'm going to go my own way. I'm going to find my own light, right? Might be a Virgo's relevant there, but <clears throat> some of them need to be alone for a while, okay? Sorry. They need to be alone for a while. Anything else? What do they need? What do they need? What do they need? And, you know, enlightenment, guidance, spiritual guidance. What else? Anything else that they need? Anything else that they need? I think that I'm getting, again, the seven years of evaluating um, love, love life, um, maybe some regrets and sorrows having to do with feeling alone and not liking what they're being offered. They need to um, be, they need to be alone for a while to reflect on these things and get some enlightenment. Um, what they want is, I want expansion and they're maybe looking outside of the partnership for that. And they're like, you know, if, if it's going to be brutal, bring it, you know, but in reality, what they need is to be alone for a while. And they really need to take some time to reassess things about their love life and why there's been regrets, why they've not liked what's been offered to them. I, I, I feel like what's needed for this person is a time of solitude. Unfortunately, I think they want to get on to the next relationship. This is really what I'm getting out of it. Let's see for you. What do you want? What do you want? Well, of course, you know, Leo wants the attention, the admiration, you know. You want the appreciation. I mean, who doesn't, but most especially Leo. You want the victory. I can't blame anybody for, you know, wanting that. But of course, you know, Leo is going to want it. There's something that you're trying to manifest in your life. And here we go again with this air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And it could be a power couple relationship, maybe a new home, a new job, a new beginning in a very material, tangible way. I'm getting, again, family wealth, generational wealth, maybe your career and partnership. Like you want to you wanna be the, um, I'm getting this feeling of like, I want the pride of, you know, being king of my castle or queen of my castle, you know, it's, I mean, no offense, some kind of eco here, maybe, you know, like, this is kind of this dream of, I, I want to be the power couple, I want to be the it couple, I want people to see me like I'm a winner, I built a kingdom for myself, this sounds so Leo, all right, but what does Leo need, what does Leo need right now? What does Leo need? What does Leo need? Okay. Uh, maybe to deal with this kind of rigid thinking that's had you in a bit of fantasy land. There we go. Right as I said it. Fantasy land. Stuck, stuck, stuck. Not seeing clearly what's viable and what's not. What is real from verse, you know, what is illusion? Anything else? What else does Leo need? What else does Leo need? Clarity, get clear on how to get that victory, all right? And it comes with the truth, not that bullshit. That's smoke and mirrors right there. And that's hanging on to smoke and mirrors, which keeps you in victim mode. Keeps you stuck. Hence, we go back to four swords in reverse, inertia. Can't let go, can't move on, can't get on with it. And now finally, we've got the justice in the upright and king of cups in the upright and the emperor in the upright. Lovely. So... You know, again, this is going back to your karma, cause and effect, lessons that need to be learned in love, in life, maybe having to do with being um, emotionally balanced, having that emotional healing and harmony, taking dominion over those feelings, not in a repressive type of or op oppressive type of way, but in a, you know, I'm going, I'm going to handle my emotions 
in a responsible, mature, stable, peaceful way. And I'm seeing a masculine energy here with both of these cards at the end. There's some karmic lesson attached to masculine energy and getting very clear within oneself about the truth of the matter, what's viable and what's not. Right? Like, I want Don Juan to come right in on a white horse. <laughs> you know? That's not going to happen. <laughs> you know? Um, you know, and I could go on with examples like that. Um, you know, I had to talk to the Aquarians about, you know, going after love, which is the gold standard, which is a nice lofty ideal, right? This is some loftiness over here, Leo. And, 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 and I've got my own, you know, guilty fantasies, right? About love and what it should be versus what it is in this matrix and this 3d right i want to get all 5d on this but uh, back down to reality <laughs> you know um how do we manifest love and these ideals of love in this current reality which soberly is a very love phobic culture how do we do that by the way i'm going to be talking more about it um this month so make sure if you want to hear about it um you are subscribed and you've hit the bell for notifications. But um, yeah, I mean, honestly, this this is like, you know, no offense, because I think we all have this and we have to address this within ourselves. Lord knows I've had to address it within myself. But this right here that you want, Leo, is um, it's kind of, you know, Disneyland, Disney World. You know, it's, it's a Disney movie. It's, uh, you know, it's Hollywood. Okay, happily ever after. And, and and look, I don't blame you for that. I don't at all. But what you need to do, what I'm seeing here, is uh, work on getting more emotional mastery and um, getting more dominion over, you know, the reality of things. You know, the lessons in love, the truth about people, their love natures and all of that. Uh, you know, and I, I have recently heard a psychologist talking about how, you know, you get in relationships, the reality is that it is a lot of work. See, that's not sexy. Nobody wants to talk about that. When you get into relationships, you start opening yourself up to their shadow energy, your shadow energy. Sweet Jesus. Was it Aquarius that got this or um, Pisces that got this? Um, all right. The advice for you on being more self-loving is for you to find balance, right? I do feel that, I mean, it, it's, yes, kind of, kind of similar to um, the, I think it was Aquarius or um, it was Aquarius uh, that came out in, or Pisces, I'm not sure, okay? But again, I'm getting this yin-yang type of, right, it's there, it's there, that, you know, back to the the temperance in reverse and you know all that stuff that i saw that was out of whack okay um this card saying everything in moderation including moderation swinging from one extreme to another can put one out of balance find your peace within okay this is being calm in the midst of the storm it's not that there's no storm or that we're quiet and we hold back and we don't talk about the storm that everybody knows is raging it's about I'm going to find my peace in the storm. Um, coexist is at the foundation. You do not need to win or harm anyone to be as you are. Appreciate diversity as part of nature, variety, and the spice of life. I, I, I think you want to win. Again, don't blame me for it, but it's like maybe let that go, that need to win. And perhaps become more sensitive. Appreciate Appreciating beauty requires sensitivity. This leads... Some of us to feel vulnerable and to deny our emotional needs, yet the world needs more sensitivity, not less of it. Embrace it. And so, look, this denial of emotional needs is what I saw right over here with this card. Blocked or repressed emotions are coming between you and, you know, your person of interest. And it, it might just simply be your loved ones, okay? But I think that... Spirit is really guiding you um, to knock it off is what I'm hearing. Knock it off, okay? If you want more love in your life, oh, look at that. True love. This is a once-in-a-lifetime love, okay? It goes back, I feel, to this. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. 
if you're totally single and nobody is on your mind, you want somebody to be the one, okay? Or you're looking for the one. You're looking for that true love, okay? Anything else? How can Leo get real love in their life? Real love in their life. I think most of you have already met this person. And you're wanting this to be... You, I'm hearing you want to lock it down. You want to lock it down. You want the happily ever after. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Absolutely. I met a fire sign uh, recently who, fantastic. I think y'all are great with that physical touch, you know. Um, foot massages, back massages, my gosh. Y'all can do that. Y'all are gifted at that, you know. As a fire sign, at least my experience has been that there is a warmth and a passion that y'all emit through physical touch. So, you know, if you are in a relationship or you're trying to pursue somebody, don't hold back on this. This physical touch is so important just in general, but particularly for fire signs, you don't want to shortchange the world on that, right? We need more of that. We need more of that warmth and passion. And I can tell you, you know, each sign has their pros and their cons. But for me, the fire signs, nobody touches like a fire sign. Nobody emits that passion and warmth like a fire sign. So whoever's listening right now, I want to encourage you, don't hold back. Don't put that out sparingly. That is your gift. That's your gift to the world. Put it out there. I hope I spoke it to whoever needed to hear it. And please know I'm wishing you all the best. Be blessed. Okay, thanks for watching to the end. I want to talk to you guys about private readings. Nothing is as accurate as a private reading, right? Nothing. And that's for me because, you know, not only am I pulling cards just for you and only you, but I'm looking at your unique astrology when I do these readings. So as many of you know, I do more than just love readings, but I'm going to speak to the love readings right here. Uh, for those of you who want to know what kind of love readings you can get from me, I'm going to tell you. But if you want to know more about the other readings I have, go to crownedones.weebly.com and you'll see everything that I offer there. Now, briefly, you know, I think the easiest, quickest reading you could get from me is probably like a 12-month love forecast. This is really good for people who are single or, you know, they're trying to make some important decisions with their love life over the next 12 months, and they want to know, you know, what is the energy supporting? What are the challenges? How do they make the most of it over the next 12 months? Really helpful for that. Um, if you're in a relationship, I do sinistry readings between you and that other person where I look at the strengths and weaknesses of the relationship. I give advice. I pull cards again based on the astrology and tarot. And I've also got a this or that uh, reading or a should I stay or should I go reading uh, where I've kind of got, you know, these two options at play with the cards where let's say you're choosing between maybe two dating options and i'm looking at the synastry between you and these two people again where the strengths and weaknesses of either person who should you go with or on the should i stay or should i go um this is if you're in a relationship and you're trying to make the tough decision you know what's going to happen if i stay versus what's going to happen if i go and um, finally, I do offer a reading, which I think is the most important reading you can get, but it is pretty comprehensive. Frankly, I think it's the reading everybody should get first, but it's like two hours long. And for that reason, it's my most expensive reading, which I do offer payment plans for. But 
Um, it's the ideal life partner reading. I personally feel like don't go on a date without it. <laughs> you've got to know, you've got to know, you know, um, your love nature, your sexual nature. Um, what are your needs? Like who's going to check those boxes? Who's not? I'm going to look at your Juno placement. Who is your ideal life partner? I'm going to look at what's going on in your seventh house, your eighth house, your fifth house. And things like that are going to help you understand yourself better so that when you get in and out of relationships, you understand what works for you and why. Very important reading. Um, but again, everybody's at a different, you know, budget. And so, you know, I even offer a really a custom reading if you want to come in and just, uh, you have a budget, you have a time frame that you need to work within. Um, we can definitely do that. And you can just come in with your own questions and I can answer that. But obviously, I can't do, you know, 20 questions in 20 minutes, right? Because um, for those of you who know me well, know I can go very deep on one question alone, particularly if I've got your astrology. We can go way deep. So if you want to get a private reading with me, like I said, go to crownones.weebly.com. Would love to work with you. Till next time, be blessed.